News Talk Radio 710 KNUS introduces the Private Label University, the only show that dares to unlock the secrets to your online selling success so you can start making money and And living living your your dreams. dreams. I want to be a billionaire so freaking bad. With over 35 years of sourcing, private labeling, and importing products for the big chain stores and coaching thousands of entrepreneurs, all while building their personal businesses, let's welcome our private label university hosts, the fabulous, lovable, and cutest dynamic duo, Karen and Neil Gortzman. So welcome. Welcome to the private label welcome university. Welcome everybody for being here. There. You are listening to 710 KNUS and we are Karen and Neil Gortzman. And our company is Considerate Made. We have been sourcing, manufacturing, private labeling, and importing for the big chain stores for over 35 years. And over the years, we have been carrying the secrets of the importing and private labeling industry. These are the secrets that the big chain stores have used to gain success. So we have decided to unlock these secrets by sharing with entrepreneurs like yourselves the secrets to sourcing, private labeling, and importing. So you can join us in this very lucrative business and start making money selling physical products right from the comfort of your own home. And we are giving this all to you through the Private Label University. So thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much. And people love secrets, so that's going to be fantastic Mm -hmm. for everyone listening. So Neil always loves to start off every event that we do with a joke or something funny. So today, get ready to chuckle (laughs) or not. So this... Let me run this one by you. It's worked a few times in in some events I've done. Um, A store owner had two vacancies on either side of him. He was a a hardware store owner. And he showed up one day, and he saw that the store to the right of him had another hardware store opening. And they had a giant banner right across the store that said, best quality. And then he thought, wow, this is more competition. Then he showed up the next day, and the store on the left side of him also had another store that opened up in there, another hardware store, and he thought even more competition, and he had even a bigger sign that said lowest prices. Well, he was in a panic. He didn't know what to do. He went home that night, and he thought about it carefully, and he came back the next day, and he threw a bigger banner right across the center of his building that said, enter here. <laughs> but <Ba-da-bum. laughs> Great for retailers. <laughs> great for retailers, and a great segue into really what's what we're going to talk about in today's show. It's really about starting a business and how to stay in the game. But before we jump into all of the nitty-gritty of the show, I think it's really important that people really understand who we are. Mm. So if you haven't already guessed, Neil and I have the same last names. Not Karen. No, not Karen. Neil and I are married, and we have two incredible teenage kids, and I mean incredible. We are so blessed. We have three dogs, and we are total dog lovers, Mm. two of which are St. Bernard's, who usually accompany us on our live webinars or events. However, they are not here today at 710K in US, um, which may be a good thing because Mozart, our big saint, um, he loves to snore, snore through <laughs> our shows. And it's funny because our listeners sometimes think it's actually Neil who fell asleep. <laughs> Um, but we, we both have been entrepreneurs our whole lives, and uh, we've built numerous businesses individually and have come together over the last few years to build a business together, our Considerate Made business, which is um, where, we crea- we, where we created the Private Label University. Mm-hmm. So a little bit about me, I'm known to many as the dreamer, and I think this is a good thing. I've always been dreaming up different inventions and businesses as a kid, and over the years I built a many successful businesses. For example, I had a personal bag business. I dabbled in cosmetics and jewelry, and I built a career in the dental industry as an independent dental hygienist in Canada and in the U.S. I'm a certified, and yes, I went through school and training through an accredited program. I'm a certified professional business coach, and I've been focusing over the last few years on my business coaching career, coaching entrepreneurs who are looking to grow and build businesses. Neil, actually, being one of my very favorite Mm, clients. And I was very lucky. Very lucky. And it is funny, um, because when you use the term dreamer, people usually laugh or They roll their eyes, and there seems to really be a stigma around this, which in today's society, this is, I think, odd, because this is what we really are all. We're all dreamers, and growing up, being a dreamer, it was not looked upon as something positive, and I would hear a lot, you know, you got to go to school, you got to get a job, you need to make money to live. Anyone else hear that? Not all the time. All the time, time. right? And to be honest, I had bigger plans, and most entrepreneurs do. 
So I wanted independence. I didn't want to have to work for someone else. I didn't. I wanted to enjoy my freedom and travel. I wanted to have a family, and I wanted to make sure that I was going to be with my kids. I didn't want to miss that. And years ago, and I won't tell you how many, <laughs> so no one can figure out the math here, a dreamer was not taken seriously. And I was pushed to do something else because that's what society told me to do, and my parents told me to. So what I've learned over the years is that all of us have that dreamer inside of us. Some of us may have suppressed it and moved on to do other things. And some of us dreamers embraced it and became very successful entrepreneurs doing what they love to be doing. Take Steve Jobs, for example, mm -hmm. right? He was an inspirational for the world. entrepreneur. For the world, Absolutely. Yeah. So in today's society, a dreamer that acts on their dreams is really an authentic entrepreneur. And I can proudly say today that I have embraced my dreams and I'm acting on them and I am a true, mm -hmm. authentic entrepreneur. entrepreneur. I am. So, you know, with, with the launch of the Internet and online shopping and platforms like Amazon, which we're about to talk about or going to talk about, opportunity has opened up like never before for an entrepreneur, especially for dreamers like any of you out there or like myself. So... You know, you know what? I'm going to have you jump in here because your story is so incredible. Well, I have to say, you know, how lucky I always dreamed about marrying some beautiful woman who was a business coach who could help me <laughs> further my businesses. And look what happened. Well, it, it, it happened. Boom, like a genie. <laughs> I appeared. <laughs> so I do have a, a fascinating story because uh, I've been doing this, as Karen said, more than 35 years. And uh, I've been known in the industry as being downright dangerous. And, and that's you know, many people have many names for me. Most of them, I hope, are very good. From the James Bond of business to the master of manufacturing, and the one that I love, the genie of sourcing. And that's because I really know so much about uh, importing internationally and sourcing and having products developed and private labeling. And I've saved the big companies, all, many chain stores, whether it be in importing or manufacturing, millions of dollars a year. And I remember years ago, I met with a president who ran one of the largest distribution companies in Canada for stationery and craft materials. And we joked around because he knew that I was meeting with all these CEOs and owners of companies. And he said, let me see your business card. I said, well, I don't really have one yet. I'm still working on what I do. He says, well, what do you do? And I said, well, I save these companies millions of dollars. I save them tons of money and I help them make tons of money. And he said, well, why don't you just put that on a card? Sure. And it was kind of a joke in the industry because I'd walk around with a card that said, Neil Gortzman, CEO, I will make you a lot of money and save you a lot of money. And it worked. And I had a lot of people calling me because they needed help. And I've been manufacturing and drop shipping, sourcing, developing products for big box chain stores, Walmart, Michaels, Dick Blick, Toys R Us, Liddell, uh, for over 35 years. And I kind of became the go-to person for many of the hard to find, even impossible to find products. So, yes, I am dangerous because I know everything that the big chain stores do, how they operate, and what I taught them and what they know. I was their, I was their genie. I was their sourcing genie. So the genie of sourcing or the James Bond of business, you know, they're pretty lofty titles. But I guess it goes back to the history of how I earned them, and that's the key. And I really learned from the best at uh, – even at the age of 10 years old, my father always encouraged me to start learning how to sell products and getting involved with selling products, whether it be at flea markets or on the street or at local events or at school events. And I love the feeling of making money and being able to buy things without having to worry about asking my parents. Uh, I remember at the age of 16, paying cash for a motorcycle, walking into a dealership, and he could see in me – he could see an entrepreneur being born. And um, he could see the entrepreneurial uh, feeling that I had growing all the time. And I was born into an entrepreneurial family. And my father, he built an internationally recognized business from ground up. And he was importing in the 60s when really it was unheard of doing. And I would ask him all the time as a small boy, you know, can you find me this? Or can you, can you see that? I've seen this in a magazine or I've seen kids using this. Can you find one of these? That's what our kids do now. Our kids do it all the time. Anytime they hear I'm going overseas, you know, Dad, if you're, you know, you've seen one of these or I've seen these advertised in Japan, can you find one? And, you know, it was really important for me to nurture this. And, you know, he was, he was bringing in, in shipments all the time, and I would take these products and I would sell them at school events, and I started to make a lot of money, and I paid my way through college and university and all types of, of further programs. And over the years, my father just taught me all the ins and outs of sourcing and importing. And I joined his retail business uh, that he had and his distribution in the early 80s, and I saw huge potential for growth. And I loved the idea of traveling and developing manufacturing importing part of the business. So I, I grew it to an international existence. So I traveled all around the world. I was importing from Europe and Japan and India, China, South America, Australia, even Colombia, which is one of the hardest places to import from. I was bringing in products from there. 
Yeah, that is amazing. You have an amazing story. Um, I want to break right here for a second, and then we'll come back after the break when we talk. You talk about more of um, you know your, the history and where how you came from Canada here. So join us after this quick break. We will continue to share the biggest entrepreneurial opportunity on the internet. We are Karen and Neil Gortzman. We are with the Private Label University at 710 KNUS. KNUS News Talk 710. Hey everybody, Mike Ball, host of the Restaurant Shows on News Talk 710 KNUS. Every Saturday, 3 to 5, every Sunday, 10 o'clock until noon, inviting you to join me. We take your calls, we give away gift certificates, we talk about the ever-changing front-range restaurant scene, we talk with restaurant owners, we talk with chefs, we also do lunch bunches, we also do supper clubs, where I invite you to join me at a restaurant and we get you some great meals and great deals. All the information is always on my website at mikeboyle.com, but join me Saturdays, 3 to 5, and Sundays, 10 to noon on News Talk 710 KNUS. It's Peter Boyle. It's the next 710 KNUS Republican Debate Party. It's Thursday night, March the 10th at CBN Potts in Inglewood. If you've seen a couple, I mean, you know these debates are fun. I mean, they're knocked on drag outs, big fights. Come and watch Trump, Rubio, Cruz beat each other up with me and the host from 710 KNUS. Tickets are available online, 710KNUS.com. Again, the next 710 KNUS Republican Debate Watch Party, Thursday night, March the 10th, CBN Potts in Inglewood. Tickets include some good hot food and seating is limited. Tickets and complete details online, 710KNUS.com. Today, how to incorporate your business in just 10 minutes so you won't lose everything if you get sued. Step 1. Stop putting it off. If you're not incorporated and someone sues your business tomorrow, it's not just your business at risk. You can lose everything. Your home, your car, even your life savings. Step 2. Call the following number for a free 10-minute incorporation guide from Incorporate.com. 1-800-973-4886. They don't provide legal or financial advice. They just make incorporating quick and easy. So you can incorporate or form an LLC in just 10 minutes. That number again is 1-800-973-4886. Step 3. Congratulate yourself. By taking just 10 minutes to incorporate your business or form an LLC, you protected your home, your car, and your life savings. And that is how you incorporate your business in just 10 minutes. But hurry while they're still giving away these 10-minute incorporation guides for free. Call 1-800-973-4886. That's 1-800-973-4886. We now return to the Private Label University with your hosts, Karen and Neil Gortzman on News Talk 710 KNUS. So we are Karen and Neil Gortzman, and you are listening to 710 KNUS, our show, The Private Label University, where we unlock each week the secrets to your online selling success. So, Neil, I want you to just continue again. Tell us um, a little bit more about the background and how you came from the U.S. to Canada, how we you brought us here. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, as I said, I was traveling around the world for companies sourcing products and developing products. And being in Canada, it was just too small. Our, our company was growing way too quickly. And I had so many of the uh, U.S. manufacturers reaching out to me uh, for my assistance and my help. And these were big box stores who had teams of buyers who would call me to teach them how to source products and how to develop products overseas. So to keep up with the demand, um, of all the American manufacturers and importers, I branched off into the States and left Canada and we built many successful businesses here and I still continue to assist and help uh, chain stores worldwide. And we've been here for 20 years? We have been here, no, no we've been here for seven, 16 years. 16 years. Yes, wow. long time. And Colorado, of course, is a great place. Yeah. So even, you know, Karen, who has helped grow many successful businesses and helped entrepreneurs, especially transition into the physical product business, you know, as she mentioned, she's a trained and certified national business coach, as you just learned. And uh, the Private Label University was created because of the entrepreneurs just like you, everyone out there who wants to be successful in many venues and many things that you can do, uh, creating products and getting into the physical product business. And I've been asked by so many entrepreneurs over the years, you know, to tell the secrets the big chain stores are doing to source private label and import products. And you know, what are they doing to be successful? I get that question all the time. And I'll be honest, it was really a secret. You know, I was scared to break the secrecy code and share the private labeling and importing secrets in fear of, of losing business. But what Karen coached me through was it wasn't about losing business. It was about helping others, about my duty as an entrepreneur to share the secrets so we all come out at the end being very successful. And, you know, business these days has become such a greedy industry, and it really doesn't have to be. No, it really, it really doesn't have to be. You know, we are in the times of sharing information. 
There are seven, actually over seven, seven billion. billion people in the world. Seven billion people. And all of us have something to offer. So it's about time that we all started supporting and sharing with each other. And that is why we created the Private Label University, to share with entrepreneurs, to unlock the secrets to selling with success online. It, so, doesn't, it doesn't have to be a secret anymore. You know, there's everyone wants to learn how to be more successful. Mm -hmm. And that's the key is, is, you know, listening to people who are professionals and know what they're doing. Mm -hmm, absolutely. So let's talk um, about being an entrepreneur today. <clears throat> and I cannot express enough how easy it is today in our society, how easy it is to start a business with little investment. And yes, you've heard me right. Little investment. This was unheard of years ago. That's right. You know, years ago, when anyone started a business, they had to be concerned with attorneys and accountants and, you know, warehouses and leases and molds and engineers and marketing groups. And, you know, it would just seem to be so expensive that, uh, you know, you were going to have to lay out hundreds of thousands of dollars just to start your company. And it's not it's not that way anymore. You know, even people with retail businesses, this is not the case anymore. Um, you know, they're not restricted to buying from one supplier. And a lot of companies tell them, you know, you can only buy from us. We're the only supplier and you can't buy from any other companies anymore. And it's not that way anymore. No, and what's amazing is, which people I don't think are aware of, especially in the retail, you don't have to buy from that one supplier. You can actually import with ease internationally. So you don't have to be working with a local distributor. You can actually be importing straight from the manufacturer. That's right. You don't have to be stressed on worrying that, I only have the one supplier and if, if something happens or, you know, what happens if your one supplier goes out of business or they decide to sell their company? Um, so there's, you know, a lot of things that can happen and retailers have to know that there are other opportunities and there are ways to actually start learning how to import and private label and building up your business. If it's been stagnant, there's ways to improve it even more. And, you know, there's always been, you know, you walk into stores and you see uh, suggested retail prices and manufactured retail price. I always consider it a manufactured retail price because really it's a price that was invented. And, you know, that's how stores lure people in. They put 50% off, 60% off. And I'd love it. I'd, I'd go out shopping with my family and they'd walk and they'd say, hey, we've got to go over there because they're having 50% off. And what would I say? 50% off of what? 50% <laughs> off of what? You know, or 80%, 70% off. Who can give those discounts? Um, there a lot of it's just fictitious. It's a way it's marketing. It's a way to lure people in and there's nothing wrong with that. Everyone likes seeing the word sale or 50% off. It looks great. You feel like you're getting a, a great deal on something, but you know, it, it's, it's different from that because these days there's ways of being creative and there's ways to market yourself and private label products and make your business. If you're starting a new business as an entrepreneur or you already have a brick and mortar and you want to increase your business, there's lots of ways to do it. And I think that's the key where people have to be educated on how to do it. You know, there's no, I like to think of the Willy Wonka, mm -hmm. you know, there's no magical kingdom where someone's making someone, the Impa Loompas in the back are, are making these secret items. Um, it doesn't happen that way. You know, manufacturing is manufacturing and there's just key ways to having things made and selling them. And you talked a little bit about the marketing part of too, how you're marketing your product, you know, when you talked about the SRP and stuff. You know, that brings up that movie that you always talk about, Tommy Boy. I love that movie, Tommy Boy. Chris, if anyone's ever seen Tommy Boy, I know even in some business schools, they actually show that show and marketing shows because uh, it's a great comedy. Um, uh, Chris Farley, who who plays a uh, uh, an eager son who's joining his father's business and his father can't wait. And, you know, he's done the 12 or 15 year uh, college stint and he finally gets out and he wants to be a salesman for the company. And it's all about he learns that, you know, he walks into places that they just say, well, where's the guarantee or where's the warranty? Where's the packaging? And he said, well, we make a great product. That's the key. You know, we're American made. We're a family company. We make a great product. And he says, well, is it on the package? I don't see anything that says there's a guarantee. And he says, well, what does guarantee mean? He says, you know, there's no good fairy that's going to show up at the, the guaranteed feather fairy to make you happy. Um, he says, if you have a problem with our product, just send it back. We guarantee it. And he says, if it's not on the box, then I don't feel comfortable. And, he, you know, Chris Farley jokes around. He says, well, I can poop in a box and give a guarantee, but it's still a box of poop. And so, you know, the idea is sure. that, you know, people these days packaging and 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 the way things are labeled marketing it, marketing you know it, it's a way you can of, sell anything with you the can marketing. sell anything but the bottom line is it's what i love about that too is it's about the passion that's behind the product that's the key and that's is the key absolutely so i always i i mean my favorite um 
person to talk <laughs> about. I know you like um, you know, Chris Farley. But, uh, <laughs> my favorite to talk about is Joy Mangiano. So if those of you who don't know who she is, there's a movie out actually about her now. Um, Joy, I've been following her since the... Now I'm going to date myself. <laughs> 90s, early 90s. Um, she is the home shopping network QVC queen. Um, she She's an inventor, and she really created products to solve a problem. And what I love about her is the passion behind her product. There's a story and a passion, and that really, really is important when you're selling a product. Um, and again, a part of marketing that really, really sells a product. And she worked from ground up. She, you know, she had an idea. She wanted to go through with it. She knew people. She had it. Like you mentioned, she had a passion. She knew people were going to love what she could do because it solved a problem. Um, it made a lifestyle easier. And she knew that it should be in every house. Mm -hmm. And I, like, you know, passion. Her passion mm -hmm. was amazing behind that. I mean, look at the pet rock. The pet rock. You know, it, when you, you look at marketing, here's a perfect, perfect <laughs> example of someone who took and just an item sitting in his backyard or he saw on the beach and he said, hmm, if I put it in a box and I put some great packaging and, and I call it a pet it. and put some eyes on it maybe, <laughs> maybe it's um, new. everyone's going to buy it. And they sold millions of dollars worth of pet well, rocks. Well, who didn't have a pet rock? We all love the pet rock, but really, do you, what, you threw it in the backyard after. <laughs> it was and my it, <laughs> friend. It was my pet. I well, spoke to it. It I, had a purpose. I, I'll even date myself. I love going to the carnival and seeing the invisible dog. Oh, yeah. I had one of those leashes where I'd walk my invisible dog. Who, who wouldn't want one of those? Well, it's Nothing... great, great for people who have allergies, that's for sure. <laughs> people have allergies, or you don't have to clean up after them. You don't have to feed them. Uh, they don't make any noise. But look, at it was just a stiff leash that kids could walk around and feel great. They had their imaginary pet with them. And again, they sold millions of dollars because the person behind it had a great passion. And he thought, why wouldn't people want it? And again, they sold millions of dollars worth. And I think you actually had one because your parents wouldn't I, let you have a dog. I, I didn't have a pet, so I had that, yeah. <laughs> your invisible dog. I think and I still have them. <laughs> exactly. And look at the hula hoop. I mean, now you're the hula hoop, I mean, it's been reinvented how many times, the hula hoop. And now it's being used in fitness. Also one of the probably single most successful products that has lasted forever, for eternity. And people will still use it. Children love it. Adults love it. Um, and here, again... A simple item that became useful and entertaining, and millions and millions, billions of dollars have been made with the hula hoop. And people are still buying, like and you said. We have them. how many do we have in our we garage? We have all different colors. We have <laughs> sparkle ones, ones, light up ones. Yeah, you name it. <laughs> they're they're amazing, right? Hula hoop. Um, okay, well let's let's jump in to talk about some of the visionaries, those entrepreneurs who have followed their dreams. Say, for example, like you talked about Steve Jobs. Um, well, even in Colorado, you have tons of of uh, local people. Jake Jabs, mm -hmm. you know, he built a empire for furniture. Uh, he's a great individual who who shows how entrepreneurship uh, can be, you know, created and being extremely, extremely successful. And you know, also, I, I love to bring up people. A lot of people don't know that right here, a famous, famous person uh, had started for a doll. Mm -hmm. What's so the, what's the most What's the most famous toy you can think of as a girl? Well, Barbie. Mm -hmm. Barbie. So Ruth Handler, she designed and marketed the Barbie doll. And where and was she born? She was born here? In Denver. In Denver, Colorado. Mm -hmm. Didn't she go to the University of Denver? She went to the University of Denver. Yeah. That's correct. So very cool. So she, um, she actually created it by watching her daughter play with paper dolls. No. Now, I, <laughs> I'm going to date myself back again because I used to play with paper dolls, and I think they're still they're I called back. it origami, but she... <laughs> She called it a doll. <laughs> Favorite dolls. But, yeah, she designed Barbie. And guess how she came up with the name Barbie? Mm, her, her invisible dog? No. Her daughter's name was Barbara. Mm. And then later years, she designed a male doll called Ken. Guess what her son's name was? G.I. Joe. No, her son's <laughs> name was. That was good. Her son's name was Kenneth. Ah, so Barbie the Ken, and Ken. Doll. Mm. I mean, it's pretty cool, right? I didn't have either of them, but I know my... My sister did play with Barbie. I preferred, on the other hand, because her husband, Elliot Handler, who is the co-founder of Mattel, um, Hot Wheels, creepy crawlers. That's what I love to play with. I loved Hot Wheels. We had Hot Wheel tracks all around the house, and we love and the creepy crawlers. So we'd use the creep, you know, we'd have our, we'd grab our sister's Barbie and do the creepy crawlers attacking the Barbie doll. <laughs> Great. So here's a perfect example of two amazing entrepreneurs that are, are from the city, that are from that are local. And there's, again, thousands and thousands of items that you'll find uh, of people inventing every day. And aren't they Mattel? 
and they are Mattel. That's correct. Yeah, they are the co-founders of Mattel, mm -hmm. which is the largest, one of the largest toy manufacturers in the world now. Mm -hmm. And they still, and Barbie is still popular. I think um, you know our kids played with Barbies, and now there's all different versions. Now there's all it. different versions, and, and just, all the princesses. And all the princesses yes. are all Barbies. <laughs> you know a lot about those princesses. But there's always, you know, you read in the paper all the time of all these different. Uh, entrepreneurs who just came up with items to solve a problem. Um, I know Sarah Blakely who uh, developed the Spanx. Oh yes, my favorite favorite thing. I actually think I developed the Spanx. I know you tell me that all the time. Because um, way back in the 80s, I used to literally with duct tape tape myself before I went into a dress. This was the beginning of Spanx. But no, she jumped on to the invention she could, before Yeah, and, and Karen did. just couldn't uh, convince enough people to put duct tape around their body. So <laughs> It uh, worked. Yeah. But she... Pro it might she, be popular in maybe in parts of Japan right now and in some of the nightclubs. But uh, yeah, Look at Spanx is an amazing success story, Sarah Blakely. Mm -hmm. And again, she's she's a billionaire. She's yeah, a billionaire. She, she is uh, every every woman's lifesaver. Really is. Yeah. I mean, from all her it's designs. It's sold worldwide. So there's a perfect example of an entrepreneur. So let's just take a quick break here. So um, if you want, just take a quick break, and we'll be right back. With On 710 KNUS with Karen Neal Gortzman from the Private Label University. BC News, I'm Joan Bennett. Ted Cruz says his two wins out of four GOP presidential contests yesterday represents a real shift in momentum in the battle against Donald Trump. Republican Party Chairman Reince Priebus on ABC's This Week says he won't attempt to sway the delegate count at the GOP convention this summer. I'm not going to do anything to prevent someone from getting 1237. That's not an appropriate role for the chairman. I'm also not going to do things to make sure somebody gets 1237. It's up to the delegates and it's up to these primary voters in these states. For the Democrats, Bernie Sanders notched wins in Nebraska and Kansas, while frontrunner Hillary Clinton took Louisiana and picked up more delegates than Sanders. Maine holds Democratic caucuses today. Peyton Manning has informed the Denver Broncos he's going to retire tomorrow. Just shy of 40, Manning will forego $19 million and a 19th season in the NFL. This is ABC News. KNUS. News Talk 710. Policies issued by American General Life Insurance Company, Houston, Texas. Not available in all states. For details, visit AIGdirect.com. Do you have a family? Would you like to help make sure they'll be taken care of if anything were to happen to you? If you answered yes, you probably need life insurance. Now, do you think life insurance is expensive? If you answered yes to that, too, you definitely need to give AIG Direct a call. We could find you a quarter of a million dollar policy for just $14 a month, which means you could save hundreds of dollars a year. Call us now for a free, no obligation quote. 1-800-941-5788. Since 1995, we've helped millions of people find out if they could save up to 70% on their term life insurance. See how affordably we can help you protect your family. Call AIG Direct now for your free quote. 1-800-941-5788. You could save up to 70%. That's 1-800-941-5788. 1-800-941-5788. KNUS listeners, come on down to the Fresh Fish Company. It's time once again to celebrate Restaurant Week. Now through March 6th, your wallet and your taste buds will be the big winners. It's a three-course dinner for only $60 for two and $30 for one. Behind dinner curtain number one is fresh-baked San Francisco-style sourdough bread and your choice of a Caesar salad or a cup of clam chowder. Behind dinner curtain number two are entree choices including snow crab legs from Alaska served with Angus top sirloin or wild Atlantic deep sea scallops mesquite grilled and topped with lemon caper sauce and lump crab meat or slow roasted prime rib with garlic shrimp and many more choices. And finally, behind dinner curtain number three is an incredible slice of key lime pie. This three-course dinner can be yours because the price is right. Two for just $60 and one for $30 during restaurant week at the Fresh Fish Company. Now through March 6th, the Fresh Fish Company is accepting reservations now at 303-740-9556. If you're considering going back to school, ask yourself the following questions. Do you need the flexibility to take classes on your schedule? Do you have college credits you need transferred? Do you want to earn a quality degree from a world-renowned university? If you answered yes to any of these questions, Arizona State University is the perfect school for you. Arizona State University offers over 100 highly ranked degree programs 100% online. 
you'll earn the same degree as you would on campus, from wherever you are, on your schedule. Plus, ASU Online accepts most transfer credits. For information, call 1-800-618-2636. Learn for yourself why the Wall Street Journal ranks ASU fifth in the nation for producing the best qualified graduates and why 90% of ASU grads are recruited within 90 days of graduation. Learn to grow, learn to succeed, and learn to thrive at Arizona State University. To learn more about ASU Online degrees, call 1-800-618-2636. That's 1-800-618-2636. Private Label University with your hosts, Karen and Neil Gortzman on News Talk 710 KNUS. So we are Karen and Neil Gortzman and you are listening to 710 KNUS, our show, The Private Label University, where we unlock each week the secrets to your online selling success. Now, don't forget to join us over on Facebook at The Private Label University, where you will have an opportunity to interact and learn from other inspiring and successful entrepreneurs. And when you are on our Facebook page, leave us a voice message, and we will air your questions on the show. Mm -hmm. We love questions. Mm -hmm. So we were just talking about entrepreneurs and how there's entrepreneurs everywhere. And I think it's great. Every time uh, we go to events in different cities, the first thing we get off and we get into a cab and we're going to a hotel – and I love Uber, another entrepreneurial uh, mm -hmm. venture. We love using love Uber. Uber. And every time I get into an Uber car, uh, the driver always says, hey, where are you from and what do you do? And as soon as we say, you know, we're considered made, uh, we help people with sourcing and importing and private labeling, every single time, what do they say to us? I have an idea. I have an idea. I have a great product. Or my mother has an amazing product that she developed at home. Or I have an uncle who's got a great product. Or, you know, I've been working on this item that I've had since I was a kid or since in university, but I've never really done anything with it. What do I do? And then usually we share some information. And it's, it's a great thing to see that there's, again, that's how the world develops with entrepreneurs coming up with products. And the great thing, like I said earlier, everyone's a dreamer. Everyone has that entrepreneurial bug inside of them. Everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we all have something that we've either thought of. You know, you walk down the aisles of any major retail store and you look at items and you go, I thought of that. That could have been mine. I like could, the banks. That's right. I could be <laughs> making a million dollars if it's in every, you know, Walmart or Home Depot or Office Depot. But the idea is you really have to start. And the key is, uh, you know, there's easy ways to get started. There's great opportunities to get started. And that's what we do. We teach people how to get started. Which is great. So actually, let's talk right now about the largest opportunity for those who have been bitten by that entrepreneurial bug. Let's talk about the Amazon phenomenon. Mm, Amazon phenomenon. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask you a question, Karen. Mm -hmm. Karen. Who do you think is the largest retailer in the world? Hmm. <laughs> You're being funny, singing the Jeopardy music. The Jeopardy music. <laughs> <laughs> um, Walmart? Nope, that's no, not my final no, no. answer. <laughs> do, do, do. Sears, maybe? No, mm. not Sears. Home Depot, maybe? No, mm -hmm. no. Let me guess. Mm -hmm. Amazon? Final answer? That Lock it my, in? That is my final Lock answer. It. That is correct. Amazon is actually the largest retailer in the world right now. The largest retailer in the world. Did you know that actually over 2 million sellers are on Amazon? And 35% of these sellers are making ten to $100,000 a oh, year. Oh, oh, oh. You mean people are making, first of all, you said $2 million. So what I'm told, it's actually $2 million and growing every single mm -hmm. hour, not just day, every single hour. Minute. More, more and more people are just uh, signing on, developing a business on Amazon. Mm -hmm. So they're making $100,000 a year, 35%. 35, but listen to this, close to 50% are making 100000 to $1 million selling online. Products, physical products online. Mm -hmm. That's the secret dollars. number there. Almost 50% 50 50%. of 2 million people. So what's the math on that? Uh, that's a lot. That's a lot of people and that's a lot of money. Uh, think of it. 400000 know, That's the, the, the ability to make that amount of money easily. That's the mm -hmm. key, easily. You know, they, sh they have a platform to allow anyone to start a physical product business and sell products and make a million dollars, and I'm told even more. Yeah, well, look at 15%. These are the statistics I, I have here. 15% are making $1 million to $10 million a year, and 2% of that $2 million are making $10 million to $100 million per year. That's a lot of people. That's 400,000 people. 400,000 people making, making up to $100 million. million a year. And it's not like you see these people on Oprah or you see them on <laughs> Ellen's show. These are, these are just 
People mom like and us. dads and you know grandfathers and uncles and shop owners yeah. and librarians. I mean, librarians. who are the sellers? Who are the sellers? The sellers, like you said, they're moms, they're dads, they're people like me, they're people like you. They're entrepreneurs who want to to make some extra income or replace a full-time income. Right? And even retailers. Retailers, you know, retailers, brick and mortar stores. That's right. Can be even more successful with Amazon selling products that they have. You know, how many retailers, you know, sit and day in and day out have the exact same products and, you know, maybe they're they're having a lot of competition with all the big box chain stores. What do they do? Well, maybe they have a lot of products that uh, are hard to find or or customize or very unique. They have an opportunity to sell those products and also make millions of dollars a year so if you're a retailer a brick and mortar store that is listening right now you need to be on amazon mm -hmm. absolutely need to be on amazon so amazon's really it's for anyone who you know wants that entrepreneurial opportunity and make money it's for people like me it's for people like you i mean we're selling we on sell amazon. on amazon yeah and, 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 and so you know everyone i think today thinks of amazon as just buying products but mm -hmm. it's actually the reverse because you're buying products that other people are selling. Mm -hmm. And the key is it could be your neighbor. Exactly. Well, who's not buying on Amazon? We're all buying. And the greatest thing is it's open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You have the, one of the you have the biggest retailer in the world at your fingertips. Now, isn't that the American dream? That is what the American dream is about. You know, just going to sleep and making money. Oh, yeah. Putting, putting products on, in the biggest you – know, imagine people saying, hey, who are you doing business with? Oh, I do business with the largest retailer in the world, and I'm selling my products, and I'm making money. And I go to sleep, and I wake up in the morning, and I've made more money. And anyone can do it. And, and, and anyone can do it. Absolutely. So what are the advantages of Amazon? Oh, my God, there's so many advantages. I mean, you, you don't have to worry about renting a warehouse or an office space. I mean, you can be working from the comfort of your own home. Staff. No staff. No staff to worry well, about. Well, and if you do st have staff, it's limited. Well, right? if your company is doing a hundred, maybe ten or a hundred million dollars, you may have more staff to service that product or maybe come up with ideas. But the thing is, you don't have to have huge warehouses. And yeah. why is that? Amazon has warehouses across the country. Well, the best part, I think, and the most important part is, you can own your own business with minimal investment. And that's the key. Mm -hmm. You don't have to start your business with so much money down because you don't have to worry about renting. Where renting, I mean, you have to be locked into a lease. Mm -hmm. You need staff. You need all that stuff. Utilities, need... packaging material. There's a lot that goes into it. And the great thing about Amazon is you set your own time. Mm -hmm. Right? Maybe you want to spend two, three hours a day. Maybe you want to spend six hours a day. You can still have your regular day job and then do that when you get home and then if it builds up where you're making more money doing that, well, then you make a decision. Well, what do I want to? What do I have more passion to do? What do I want to? Do I want to create any more items? Exactly, and that's the whole key too. How much time you want to spend? It's your decision. I mean, for me, it was a big decision because I wanted to make sure that if I was working, I was working in the hours that the kids were at school, so that it didn't interfere with my time with my kids, mm -hmm. and that's key. Or when you know the kids were little, you know, I when they're napping. Maybe I go on the computer and do, you know, do a little bit of some Amazon and then I'm, I'm free to do the rest of the time and I'm making money that whole time. Like I'm that, not working. That, right? passi that passive income. I think, you know, that's the key. Knowing that even if you're working at a job, that you still have money coming in. And, you know, look at HSN. Look at all the, t the late night TV selling ads. You know, uh, Kevin Harrington, you know, he started. He's a great entrepreneur. He's a great success story. He was one of the sharks uh, on the Shark Tank. And what he did was he saw that when people came home at night that, you know, there there was nothing to watch on TV. So he said, hey, all this space, I'm going to start selling time for people to sell. The Ginsu knife, the George Foreman grill, uh, the chubby checker, you know, waist uh, slimmer, all kinds of products that people started buying because there was all this time. And exactly. Again, and who doesn't watch late night uh, infomercials? <laughs> you do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I do. I am definitely an HSN QVC watcher. At night. And there's I'm great products. That's that's amazing. There's great products on there. And that's mm -hmm. from people who started physical product businesses. Yeah. So, I mean, and half the time, if I'm not on HSN or QVC, where am I buying? I'm buying on Amazon. I'm on my computer looking for things. I mean, the great thing what I love is that, you know, my the kids will come home and say, oh, I have a birthday party. And it's like, gosh, I can't get it to get the present until the weekend. You have to go to the mall. You have to park. You need time, gas, everything. And the great thing is I just 
go onto Amazon and in two days, you can even do, I think one day, day yeah, yeah, one day I have the product. I don't have to wait. If it's a Monday, I don't have to wait till Saturday or Sunday or whenever it is to go to the mall and pick up it, a present. It's it's available It arrives me. worry-free. It tells you about the product. And the amazing thing is they actually say that they're going to have drones in the next few years that are just going to drop off your product same day, same oh day God. delivery. How wonderful will that be? You'll have lots of stuff for parties. <laughs> You'll have more parties. <laughs> I mean, definitely be buying more, so be watching So this is the key. You have the largest retailer in the world available. Absolutely. So it's great. I I mean, I love shopping online. So join us after this quick break. Uh, We'll continue to share with you the biggest entrepreneurial opportunity on the Internet. We are Karen and Neil Gortzman, and we are the Private Label University on 710 KNUS. KNUS, News Talk 710. Hey everybody, Mike Ball, host of the Restaurant Shows on News Talk 710 KNUS. Every Saturday, 3 to 5, every Sunday, 10 o'clock until noon, inviting you to join me. We take your calls, we give away gift certificates, we talk about the ever-changing front-range restaurant scene, we talk with restaurant owners, we talk with chefs, we also do lunch bunches, we also do supper clubs, where I invite you to join me at a restaurant and we get you some great meals and great deals. All the information is always on my website at mikeboyle.com, but join me Saturdays, 3 to 5, and Sundays, 10 to noon on News Talk 710 KNUS. It's Peter Boyles. The next 710 KNUS Republican Debate Party is Thursday night, March the 10th at CBN Potts in Englewood. If you've seen a couple of them, you know these debates are fun. I mean, they're knockdown dragouts, big fights. Come and watch Trump, Rubio, Cruz. Beat each other up with me and the host from 710 KNUS. Tickets are available online, 710KNUS.com. Again, the next 710 KNUS Republican Debate Watch Party, Thursday night, March the 10th, CBN Potts in Englewood. Tickets include some good hot food and seating is limited. Tickets and complete details online, 710KNUS.com. We now return to the Private Label University with your hosts, Karen and Neil Gortzman on News Talk 710 KNUS. So welcome back. We are Karen and Neil Gortzman, and you're listening to 710 KNUS, our show, The Private Label University, where we unlock each week the secrets to your online selling success. So we were talking about the Amazon opportunity. So how does someone get started with this opportunity to sell on Amazon? Well, what do you need? You need a product. You need the perfect product. You need the perfect product. You need a physical perfect product. And that is why we at the Private Label University, where it's what we're all about. That's what we're all about. Talking Finding about- that perfect product and sharing our 35 years of sourcing, private labeling and importing, you know, the secrets that we've been using with the chain stores. It's all about finding that perfect product to sell. And the amazing part, the Amazon part, Mm -hmm. that's the amazing part. That's the easy part. That's, you know, the listing and selling. That's easy. Amazon does, like we mentioned earlier, they do everything for you. Mm -hmm. Everything. You just got to find that perfect product. They take all the headaches away that you have to worry about. So it's really all about the sourcing and the importing, and it's really the core. That really is the core of your business. And with our guidance and our support, we have and can help you with your success online and selling. Make it a reality. That, that's the key, Making it, turning your uh, ideas and your entrepreneurial uh, dream into a success. Absolutely. Because of the demand of our expertise, we created for you the Private Label University. And the Private Label University, really what we do is we teach you what you need to know to start a private label business on platforms like Amazon or eBay or Etsy or Shopify. Um, So please join us over at www.privatelabeluniversity.com. That's privatelabeluniversity.com. And you will learn more and access some of our amazing free content there. And, of course, leave us a message there. Um, While you're there, leave us a message, and we will share your questions on our show. And, of course, you want to join us each week at Sunday at 9 a.m. Mountain Time on 710 KNUS, where we're going to teach you and discuss and answer your questions about starting and growing your private label business. And unlocking the secrets. Yes. Because there shouldn't be any secrets to doing this. No, no, not at all. And there are different ways that you can start a business and sell on Amazon, and that is by arbitrage. So, Neil, tell us, what is arbitrage? Dun, 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 dun. People always, you know, arbitrage has always been kind of a, a, a dirty word or a negative connotation. And it really isn't because there's three types of ways to sell. There's retail arbitrage, there's wholesale arbitrage, and there's private labeling. And 
Um, you so know, what is retail arbitrage? Well, retail arbitrage is taking a product that you buy at a low price in a retail store, and then you sell it online, let's say on Amazon, and you make a profit. So you're buying a product that you see in a retail place, putting it on Amazon, and then making a profit. So for example, if you happen to walk into Walmart and you see a, a TV on sale for $30, and you know that TV can sell for $150, and you, you happen to go on Amazon, you see it selling for $150, and you list it there, you make a profit, you're performing retail arbitrage. Mm -hmm. And uh, wholesale arbitrage? Wholesale arbitrage is basically buying it in bulk. So you're usually dealing with a manufacturer or a distributor or a wholesaler, buying it in bulk at a low cost, and the same thing, then selling it at a profit. Mm, excellent. And private labeling. Private labeling. So private labeling really just means when you take a product and you put your brand on it. And this is where the money is. And I always like to use the example of a tissue. Tissues. Tissues. Tissues are all over the place. But you do can we buy really them it? anyway, but we do, do we call them tissues? Hand me a tissue? No. No. I always say Kleenex. Again, that's a brand name. So they took tissues. Mm -hmm. They went to a manufacturer that was manufacturing tissues, mm -hmm. and they put their name, Kleenex, on them, and it became a brand. It's a household brand in our, in our house. That's mm -hmm. for sure. I, 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 hand me a Kleenex. Hand me you don't say hand me a <laughs> tissue. <laughs> Some people do, but I With think it's... With my pinky, please hand me a tissue. <laughs> <laughs> Kleenex, it's Kleenex. So again, putting that's private labeling, and that's really where the money is, and that's what a lot of people are doing on Amazon. Now, it's like Neil had said, there are different ways of selling on Amazon. So not everyone is selling private labeling. Usually, um, people start off by doing retail arbitrage, going in, buying products um, from retail stores at low prices, and then reselling them at higher prices. It's a good way to get your feet wet. Mm -hmm. And then people start sourcing internationally um, for products um, directly, through, lower cost. directly through the manufacturer at a lower cr cost, and then putting your brand on it, creating a brand, and um, then selling it. And that's what a lot of the, that's what the, the chain stores do. You know, you walk into Costco where they have Kirkland brand, or you walk through King Supers where you see you know their own brand of product. And you know what they do is they go to the main manufacturers who make, let's say it's a, a cough medicine or something else, and they just say, okay, we're going to have our brand on it. it. It's basically the same ingredients, but they're branding and a lower cost because they're buying in bulk, they're buying in volume, and this way it allows the retailer. Uh, to make an even higher profit because, and also build a brand for himself. So people become, you know, they know it's going to be better cost. Uh, they're going to feel comfortable buying it. And again, the uh, the owner of the product is making a higher profit. Excellent. So, and, and we get these questions all the time, especially when it comes to buying products. So I know one of the questions. So actually, let's jump into question time. This is a good time for we questions. We love questions. Mm -hmm. So we, as you mentioned, we get many, many questions. So if you want, leave us some questions. Please visit us over at the privatelabeluniversity.com. Leave us a voice message there, and we'll be sure to air your questions on the show. So let's take some questions. What are one of the first questions that we have here? It's question time with your dynamic duo hosts, Karen and Neil Gorsman. What's your billion-dollar question? One of the questions we have, this is actually from Charlene in Grand Junction that sent us a question. She said, do I have to buy hundreds of products to sell on Amazon? Great question. You don't. You don't. That's the key. You can have one product and be, and, and be extremely successful because you can sell thousands and thousands and millions of the product if it's going to be successful. You know, you choose what you want to sell on Amazon and you build your brand and you build your company with those products and product lines. So, you know, look how Amazon started, really. It was mainly about books and CDs. Mm -hmm. And, you know, people had a lot of books sitting around their house. Uh, you know, if you have students in your home, there's always books collecting. There's uh, different manuals collecting. And people started to list them on Amazon. And book companies were listing on Amazon. Of course, you'd have thousands and thousands of titles and CDs. And that's how it developed. So you really, it's a matter of, again, finding the perfect product, finding a great physical product that you have passion behind, that you're interested in, and selling that product. And that's great because you don't need, people I think feel that they need to order thousands, thousands. and hundreds of thousands because it's coming right from the manufacturer. You don't anymore. No. Everyone wants to do business. Manufacturers worldwide, they all want to do business and they're all looking for business. So if someone's new in business and is interested in taking on that product, you don't have to buy thousands anymore. It doesn't exist. No. And then that's what I love, and that's why it makes it so easy, so different than it was years and years and years ago. That's right, where people automatically assume that, you know, to buy from a manufacturer or from a, a wholesale distributor, you had to buy in huge volumes. Or in China. Or in China. 
to buy yeah. from China. So we have another question. How much do I really need to invest if I want to start selling on Amazon? And this is from John in Colorado Springs. Oh, good question, John. Well, you know, the great thing is, you, of course, you need some money. You're going to be buying a product. So you still have to have some money to invest. And I think, you know, even if you have $500 because well, Amazon. We've had, we've had clients who've started with $500. And now are doing 10000 20000 a month. Yeah. Just with one or two products. It's a great way to test the market, just to test it to see if this is even a business you want to get into. It's a great way, you yeah, know, to... a cottage industry. You know, if, you, if you're working out of your home producing some type of handmade product or some type of craft product, um, and you're selling maybe at local markets or local events, well, now you can sell to the biggest retailer in the world, mm -hmm. and, and you open the audience to millions and millions of people who will want your product. There's people waiting to buy your product. You just have to show it to them. Exactly. And the amazing thing is, Amazon helps you sell it. Amazon does everything, really. I mean, they have an audience waiting for you. Waiting for you. Mm -hmm. You know, you do simple things like taking a good picture of the product and then keywords, but you know your product. So when it gives you an area to actually tell about your product, that's the key. You have a passion behind your product, and now you have an audience to buy it. You have customers waiting. Mm -hmm. So Daniel from Greenwood Village, do I need any experience or education or a degree to create an online business? You know, that's the, that's the beauty of Amazon, that, you know, you, you, you be your own master um, and and as you develop products and list products and you see what people are looking at, and maybe they send you back a question about your product, um, it, it, it allows you to develop your company. And you see how you're becoming more successful doing that, and it allows you to become your own master of your business. Anyone. Anyone, anyone can do it. Anyone can be selling on Amazon. You don't need experience. Amazon does a great job even teaching you how to use their platform. They have videos. They're easy, easy to follow. They have selling coaches on online where mm -hmm. you can go and take watch the videos. And it's all free. It's like, that's the greatest thing. You're not buying some expensive course to uh, to go back to school or university. Here it's all offered, and that's what we do. We help people find that physical product, see what their, their interest is, their passion, and help them develop that product. Um, you know, how do I know what products to sell? You know, we get that question all the time. How do I know what products to sell? I've never sold anything before. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter. We hear that a lot. We hear that a lot. And it doesn't matter. Do you buy products? Then you absolutely can sell products. Exactly. Because exactly. everyone is needing something, really. So um, Stephanie from California, mm. uh, we have, uh, is it safe to import from China? This is a great question. Yes. You know, it, it's very safe. You know, we have a lot of rules and regulations importing products, and they're very strict. And uh, manufacturers overseas know about these regulations. Uh, you know, there are always going to be some manufacturers that aren't the best, but they want to do business overseas. And especially now you have online uh, selling places like Alibaba and AliExpress, and there's all kinds of them that are offering products that you can look at and, and test the market with. And again, it's a matter of looking at your passions and seeing your interests and deciding on a product and then launching that product. Yeah, it's great. I mean, we, we go to China. Mm -hmm. We're taking a, a trip with a, a group of yeah, a group of clients that we take there and we educate them. We teach them how to do business overseas, how to do business in China, uh, the etiquette, even with language barriers and culture barriers. We show them how to do business overseas, how to get the best pricing, how to look for the best manufacturers, working whether it be with manufacturers or trading companies. You know, I, I've been traveling and doing business in China for 30 years. So when it wasn't popular, I was doing that, and now that's what, again, I share those secrets with entrepreneurs every day that you can do it too. Now, aren't a lot of the uh, stores, retailers now importing from China? You know, not yet. I, I think they're, they're, they're looking at it, but they're still a little scared. You know, the, again, the big chain stores, that's what they came to me for, mm -hmm. to educate them, teach them how to import from overseas. And now when I tell retailers that you can do it too, you know, at first they get a little afraid and I say, don't worry, we'll, we'll take you, we'll, we'll show you the steps to do it, we'll make it easy for you. And all of a sudden, they start making money. That's the key. They see all these products at the chain stores that they couldn't compete with, now they can buy them too and they can sell them to consumers and then build their business even more. If their business may have been suffering because it was too competitive with the big chain stores, now they can be in the market. And of course, we show them that you can sell on Amazon as well. And you have a huge audience. And they should be going to that Canton Fair. They should. The the largest fair in the world, over 50,000 vendors there. 
Uh, I used to spend 30 days just meeting with clients and, and manufacturers. And this is the largest show in the world where everything, you just basically see everything. And a lot of these manufacturers, they launch products before you know anyone else sees them. And that's a lot of times when you see new products in you know all the chain stores, that's because they've been going to the shows. And so that's what we do. We take people to these shows and we train them how to look for the best product and how to negotiate pricing and what to look for when they're dealing with different manufacturers overseas. And it's much easier now to get into these fairs. And- it's so much easier to get now. You know, they, they really encourage overseas buyers to come over and they really try to help you. So it's a great way to enter uh, the market of importing. So we need to wrap up the show, but before we do, we want to express that the Private Label University was made for you, for the entrepreneur. So if you're ready to release that entrepreneur in you, spend more time with your loved ones, and ready to start making some serious money doing what you love to do, then join us each week at the Private Label University here on 710 KNUS every Sunday at 9 a.m. Mountain Time. We've created this show for you. We are your hosts, Karen and Neil Gortzman. I want to be a billionaire so freaking bad. Thank you for joining Karen and Neil Gortzman at 710 KNUS, the private label university, the only show that dares to unlock the secrets to your online selling success so you can start making money and living your dreams. Remember to visit us over at www.privatelabeluniversity.com for tons of free content. While you're there, leave us a message and we'll air your comments and questions on the show. Listen to us every Sunday at 9 a.m. Mountain Time. The dynamic duo, Karen and Neil, are now signing off.